started making uh, maple syrup many, many years ago. My grandfather, Henry Jasper, started making the syrup out in the woods, and he just made a couple hundred gallons. And uh, you know, like back in 1920, they used to sell the syrup for two gallons, uh, two dollars a gallon, and uh, we made. A, it was a hobby then. And uh, 1960, my father. Uh, Anthony Jasper, he built this building, the staff house, started uh, making the syrup as a part-time uh, job, and we started tapping four or five thousand trees. Now my brother Michael, uh, the third generation here, that's, uh, he owns uh, 120 acres with uh, 10,000 bales that we tap and we buy sap from other uh, people. Uh, we get out there, we pick up the sap. And my brother also had made a lot of uh, innovations to this process. He's a RO machine that helps separate the water from the sap. He's got a filter press in here that does an excellent job of removing any of the sediment in the syrup. So that we, we only produce the number one grade of syrup for our customers, and they really enjoy the syrup. We're one of the biggest producers in the UP. Uh, we're making the maple syrup. And, uh, I made syrup since I've been about 10, 12 years old. I would get out there and help pick the sap. And I really enjoy this process. It's a great time of year to get out. This machine you hear right here right now is called a reverse osmosis. Basically, it, it, it's removing the water from the, from the sap. On average, it takes about 40 gallons of sap to make a gallon of syrup. That's 39 gallons of water we got to remove. This machine takes about 50% of the water. It takes the water out of the sap? Right. How does it, how does it do that? Well, good question. Basically, inside here is a big filter, okay? And it's forcing, we're running about, probably about 70, 75 pounds of pressure. And uh, it's forcing the sap to these filters, okay? And they're very, very fine filters. The water goes one way, and the sap goes the other way. See, actually, this machine is what a lot of municipalities use to clean the water. Except that they're using the water, they're using the sap, they're using it in a reverse process. Okay. Uh, Tony Hall, this does an excellent job of removing the water and the sap. It does about 1,000 gallons per hour. That's about what we need. We have about 10,000 available. But we need to have the capacity to handle that much sap, okay? And as a result of that, at about a 40 to 1 ratio, we can produce about 25 gallons a certain hour. Now, in the whole season, we'll maybe make about 2,000, 2,500 gallons of syrup. And the syrup, maple syrup process, uh, depends on the weather. When you get the cold nights, it sounded like last night, it was 21 degrees, today it's going to get up to 40, 45. These are perfect conditions for the sap. You want it to be cold, because out in the woods, you, it, you want it to be like a refrigerator. Keep that sap nice and cold, and uh, that makes the best quality of sap. Now, what's going on here is our main evaporator is going to take out the other 50% of the water. And uh, this evaporator, you use wood, uh, it's, it's grown on wood, and uh, what you've got here is the evaporator is designed to cook syrup. You've got a lower pan here, sitting on this pan is a preheater. So the cold sap is coming in here, and we regulate how much sap can come in. Okay? It goes through this preheater, and the sap begins to warm, begins to cook, and what we're doing is recycling that steam. Okay? Because you know steam has a lot of potential energy. That energy because it's more efficient. We can burn less wood, cook the syrup faster. And so, anyhow, from there it goes up into this final, final pan, final staging here. Okay? Now, we're going to step around and show you where we can. Now, my brother Mike here is testing the syrup, He's keeping an eye on it so that. Once it gets real close to syrup, you got to watch it. And, uh, sugar content. That's a good. This is, this is a hydrometer. When it hits this red line, it's pure maple syrup. Now, here's the goal. That's how we get it. Right now, what we have is we check the temperature. It's set at 
salad. See this syrup coming out? It just sends a signal. It's opening this valve automatically and the syrup's coming out. What's really nice about that is that all the syrup coming off of here is done in a consistent manner. You know, it's exactly you know, the sugar content we want to make sure. Filter okay. right here. The syrup is forced through pressure. We'll throw this series of filters. When the sap comes up out of the roots, there's a, actually like a fine, looks like a fine sand that's, that's in the syrup. We want to remove all that sediment, okay? And we pour it in these containers over here. Okay? From here, the sap, the syrup is reheated to 190 degrees. We put it into the, to the glass and the jugs, into the gallons, from, from little containers to the bigger ones. My brother makes uh, maple candy, maple cream. I uh, sell the cotton candy also, which is made from the maple syrup. Very good. It has a nice, light maple flavor to it. And I'm not a, I don't like a lot of sugar, but I like a little bit of that maple cotton candy. Very good.